Hey guys, good morning. This is Dan. Welcome to Angle Guys. For those of you that are new, welcome. For those of you that are returning, welcome back. For those of you that support me over on Patreon, thank you so very, very, very much. I greatly appreciate it. Um, this is the daily forecast for all signs. It is originally set for Tuesday, the 25th um, of January. It is not solely set for that date. If you're seeing it on a different date, please use the message rather than the date it was created for. Check out the drop down menu on all of my. Uh, daily videos so that you can get like the house rules, what debts I'm using, how to contact me for a private reading, all of that sort of stuff. If you enjoy this reading, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, tell your friends about it, post the reading on your social media pages and in your groups and stuff. Help me get the word out. I would greatly appreciate it. And um, uh, leave a question or comment if anything doesn't make sense or if you have a question about something specific if I can answer it I certainly will and that's about it let's see what the cards have in store for us I feel a little bit off today not off but like just I did not want to get out of bed this morning it's really cold here and so I think that's part of the reason why it's like freezing cold outside I think we're finally getting that freezing rain that they were talking about for the last few days it's just like miserable out even the dogs are like, I'm not going out in that crap. What are you talking about? I'd rather pee in the house. So let me see. What card do we have today? My stomach, my stomach also, I don't like that cut. Hold on, let me shuffle one more time. My stomach also feels really upset. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's the coffee. And it's the Five of Wands. I believe that we saw this at the end of the week. So I have a feeling that some of that competitive energy, some of those opinions of others, some of those, like, I don't know, confrontational people, or we might be con confronting other situations and people, it may be arriving a little bit earlier. or it's starting to show up on the horizon now. It might get bigger towards the week's end, right? Because this was our end of the week card. The fact that it's showing up here in the early part of the week says to me something is probably brewing within this situation. This situation can be office politics. It can be family infighting. It can be fighting within a relationship. But whatever it is, it's jockeying for position, right? It's us trying to position ourselves into a place of winning, power, success, that sort of a thing. Vibes are transitory. But don't be surprised if, like, you don't find, like, co-workers at work beginning to annoy you or beginning to challenge you, your opinions, that sort of a thing, or loved ones, children, things like that. There's a lot of hijinks, not listening, um, you know, I call this card a whole lot of fuckery, basically. There's just a whole lot going on that it's like, I don't want anything to do with this. Or if I have to get involved with this, heads are going to start to roll, basically right? We have the clarity of yesterday's Ace of Swords, which should keep us clear even in the midst of this goofiness going on. But underneath this, I believe, did we not have the tower? So this could be the beginnings of that tower, the shifting and the changing. Fives are always associated with change, meaning they're not permanent. This is the Five of Wands. So yeah, it's a pain in the ass. Yeah, nobody's acting on their best behavior. It may be even ourselves included, but... We will transition out of this, hopefully by week's end. It just is interesting. It's showing up a little bit earlier than when it was underpinned for the end of the week. So we might be dealing with this problem throughout this week, starting from now on. You know, it could be even stemming from the tower, right? The shift of the tower brings. Now everybody's sort of jockeying for, you know, like let's say somebody at the company gets fired. Now everybody else wants his job. <laughs> so they're all trying to prove who's the best suited for it and they're willing to stab each other in the back to get there do you have to partake in this no not necessarily you can sit back as an innocent bystander and just sort of watch the shit fall also in doing that it's a more compassionate way of being but it's also a lot allows some opponents so to speak to take out other opponents so that your job can be that much easier to sweep in and sort of take whatever it is you need from the situation or express whatever it is you need or get your point across in whatever way you need to without having to deal with all of the personalities, the politics and all of that. Now, let's see what Kuan Yin has to say. Kuan Yin has card number 35, the Book of Changes, which is an eight. 
Oh, wait. I pulled two cards by accident. I'm not reading you guys two cards. We have the Lotus Throne, which is card 37. I'm giving you guys the Lotus Throne today, is my feeling. She was underneath there. So I'm going to give you the Lotus Throne today. I have a feeling that she wants us to sit tight, turn our back to the melee, turn our back to the bullshit. Let's not fight. Let's not partake. Let's sit in our Lotus Throne and be spiritual. The reason why I say that also is she's card number 37, which leads us to the card, the numerological value of one, which means keep the attention on ourselves rather than what might be going on around us that's causing us trouble. She also feels more in line with that Ace of Swords energy that we had yesterday. She feels centered. She feels focused. Her attention's on her own lotus, her own growth, her own situation rather than, you know, what other ding-dongs are up to with their bataka bats, like swinging it around, acting like, you know, it's a giant dick measuring contest. Does that make sense? So let's read the, um, uh, the Lotus Throne. And I don't have my glasses. Great. Uh, the same Lotus wisdom that enlightened beloved Kuan Yin and all spiritual masters is the very same Lotus light within your own heart, beloved. It can take great courage to trust your own inner light and ascend the throne of your own inner spiritual authority, especially in the light of others around you especially if the light of others around you seems more powerful than your own. You are being asked to trust this inner guidance above all others now. Have faith in your own heart. Know that you are the divine. Sorry, this is hard for me to read. This print is really small. Um, there are times on the path that we can greatly benefit from assistance from others. In fact, they, these times are are almost always a free, a true spirited master, teacher, guru, guide, or healer has the same role to connect you with conscious awareness to your own inner light, so that you may come to realize the spiritual power, authority, and beauty that you have, that you are in truth, is the same spiritual power or authority and beauty that you may see and honor in them. Sometimes we might need an external guide to help us make the connection. Sometimes we are closer to our own divine wisdom than we consciously realize, and yet we fall into a habit of believing that others may know more of what is good for me tr or true for us than we do ourselves. Sometimes out of habit and conditioning, it's just easier to see the divine light in others than within our own heart. This oracle has come to you to guide you to trust your own inner teacher or grow, is growing stronger, that you have more spiritual wisdom than you may previously acknowledge, and that, you're, and that you will benefit greatly from heeding your own heart's guidance at this time. You are guided here to carefully discern the level of influence that others may be having over you. Is in your admirable willingness to be open to learn and to grow, you are wise not to surrender your dis discernment, no matter how wise or powerful a teacher might be. It is wiser, more powerful still, to always tr test what they seek to say to you by sitting with it in your own heart. Does all guidance you have, does all guidance you have been following feel true to your heart? At this time, the inner teacher, the guru within all, the goddess light, the goddess light of Kuan Yin in your own heart is speaking to you, urging you to trust your own divine nature more deeply than ever before. You are being asked to ascend to the lotus throne of your own divine soul. Trust your courage, beloved. Your journey is taking you into a spiritual mat maturity, and you will need to acknowledge that you have that you have spiritual authority within your own heart. Yes, you can learn from others, but always honor your inner teacher, beloved, as this is your own unconditionally loving and flawless guide. The part of you that is divine wisdom always has been and always will be. Healing Ascension to the Lotus Throne. Sit or lie comfortably with your eyes closed and take your awareness to your heart chakra. 
in the center of your chest, be, being aware of the light within it. Imagine that within this heart light, you can perceive a beautiful throne, a magnificent chair or lotus upon which a divine being of light, it sits in graceful, strong and compassionate pose. Quietly say, I now ask to connect with the wisdom and spiritual authority to, of the lotus throne and the beginning and the being of unconditional love and light that dwells upon it in my own heart chakra now. Be aware of that being connecting with you through the divine love emanating from the eyes of this being, from the heart and from the energy field of the throne itself, which is strong, powerful, and wise. As you allow yourself to truly receive the energy of the wise illuminated being, you realize that it is your own higher self on this lotus throne. Find, feel the peace and the trust within yourself. Just let it be. Give yourself, excuse me, I gotta turn the page. Give yourself permission to not have to understand or analyze it. When you have stayed with this with that experience for long enough, say, I am the light divine upon the lotus throne, eternally guided and loving, drawing me back into the divine light of my own true nature, Om Mani Padmiham, prayer to the lotus, prayer of the lotus throne. You burn bright in my heart, guiding me eternally, divine lotus of light, my very own heart. I ascend to the lotus throne within you, my power, my wisdom, my love, and light acknowledged. All is well within my own soul. By Kuan Yin's grace and my own divine fate, I trust and empower myself spiritually now more than ever. Om Mani Padme Hum. So basically, like trusting in yourself, don't get caught up in the fray of the bullshit that's going on around you. Know your own truth. Find peace, calm, and serenity in that truth. And act from that place of truth. If you even need to turn your back on some of this drama going on around you, amongst family, friends, or otherwise, do so. Honor yourself in all of this, right? That's what you want to do. That's the green healing color of the Lotus Throne. She's not getting involved. She's like, screw you guys. I'm going to sit over here and let you guys figure it out. The uh, grounding stone for the day is success. Grounding in your own success, first and foremost. The success of maybe staying away from the drama or the, um, the emotional pull-in that the Five of Wands would want to present. It could be very important people to you that are having a fight, an argument, or are requesting you to take sides. You know, the success, like ground in the success of not taking a side, of staying impartial, of staying in your own lane, of keeping a clear mind, of keeping a clear head and heart, and allow that to um, move you through this day. Remember, you do have the clarity of that Ace of Swords. And the stone this week underneath all of this is that stone of create. What are we creating? Are we getting involved in the fight that's useless? Are we getting involved with opinions and matters that really don't ultimately matter? You know, that's the five of wands. It's just a bunch of idiots like knocking each other out, trying to prove their point. And it's like, Kuan Yin's like, no, not today. I'm good over here. I know what my Lotus needs. I know wh where my wisdom lies. And that's really the only wisdom that ne we need is to listen to the wisdom that is within us. That in and of itself is a success is a success that we can ground in. It also, um, uh, you know, can create more success for us as we move forward, right? And that's the creation stone from this week. So that is your forecast for the day. I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit the thumbs up button. Share the video out with whoever can use it. And um, uh, leave me a question or comment or subscribe to the channel. Take care. Bye-bye.